it is Monday the 5th of October and it's a new weekly reading vlog so I do have updates I didn't actually read anything yesterday but I did finish Ghostwood Song today I finished it this morning and it was amazing it was so creepy so atmospheric and I am really actually quite excited to write the review for this I really enjoyed how it dealt with grieving and family there was also bi rep in this which was yes um so yeah i really enjoyed this four out of five stars and i'm really looking forward to writing my review for it but for now it is seven o'clock i am about to set a planting thing on my forest app and I'm going to do some reading sprints on Twitter because I am still only like not even 100 pages into the Unbound. I have my basic witch Grayson honey candle burning, which smells so good. And yeah, I will check back in with you in a bit. almost nine o'clock I did a couple of sprints on Twitter and I'm now halfway through the Unbound which is brilliant so good updates it's getting very good I have absolutely no idea where it's going although I do have a couple of theories but for now I'm gonna try on my new clothes that came and then watch tonight's Halloween movie oh so yesterday's was Beetlejuice <laughs> Um, today's is going to be the very first Scream film. I love the Scream films, they are amazing. So I'm just setting out to watch the first one. But I wanted to show you some other mail, not clothes, but other mail that came today. So you may know this already, but I have been collecting the Avengers Endgame Funkos. And I got this one, it's the um, Thanos in the Garden one. Um, which is so cool. So this one came, I only actually got this because I needed to bump up my, well, I mean, I was going to get it, but the only reason I got it when I did was because I needed to bump up my EMP order so that I could get free delivery. <laughs> and I thought, Do you know what? I, I need this one because I don't have it yet. So I got this. And then my Grandmaster Funko from Ragnarok came. He's so cute. I love him. He's going to go up there with the rest of my Ragnaroks. And then, because I have no control and Loki and Bucky are everything, I managed to get hold of the Winter Soldier Funko from Civil War. I do also want to get hold of the other Bucky Barnes ones, but they are not very easy to get hold of so yeah so there was that and then I got some clothes like I got a Loki dress and some Loki tops as well which I need to try on and that is my updates I did get a book do you know what? I'm going to show you the book in this you'll see it again in my haul but I'm gonna... so me like many others have ordered like 50 million different editions of this book and one of them come today and it is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. This is the Forbidden Planet um, edition. So we have the end papers. It's gorgeous and it's signed. So um, the only thing I'm annoyed at, this is not a sticker, that's actually printed on. Like, it's great that Neil Gaiman thought it was joyous. So did I. What I would also find joyous is not having that god-awful sticker on my book. But yeah. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have also...
pre-ordered the Waterstones edition, which I think is on its way. And the Illumicrate October box is going to have this book as well. So I will be getting that. But for now, I'm going to stop talking and try these clothes on, get my PJs and then watch Scream because it's ready. And oh, I love this film. I have not seen this film in years. I'm so glad I've decided to do this October movie advent because I am loving life. But yeah, so I will speak to you tomorrow. Hello, it is Tuesday the 6th of October and it is very late. So I've just finished watching Bake Off. I'm setting up my Disney Plus so I can watch Haunted Mansion because that is tonight's film. But I do have reading updates. So today I started buddy reading A Reaper at the Gates, which is the third in the Ember in the Ashes trilogy. Um, so I've read the first 50 pages and <sighs> happy place. I mean, it's not a happy place, but I'm in my happy place reading it, even though it makes me sad and angry and I hate Marcus with a passion. I want him to meet a very nasty end, but any ending would be too good for him. Anyway, loving this. And then I have made some progress on The Unbound. So I am now over halfway through. I'm on chapter 20. Well, I'll be starting chapter 21. Um, so I have about, I have less than 200 pages, no, I have less than 150 pages, um, so I'm hoping to finish this before the end of the week, I'm going to try and concentrate on this tomorrow evening, um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it, I don't really know where it's going I still have theories but I don't know if those theories will be correct we'll see so yeah I have theories about the unbound obviously can't share them because spoilers but I have theories about what is causing the issues that the main character is facing whether I'm right about them or not is another matter, but I'm looking forward to finding out if I am right. I think I might be. Um, I wasn't really sure about the theories at first, but the pages I read today have kind of solidified my theory on it. So, yeah, there's that. So, these are my only real updates. I'm hoping I can get to more than just this this week because... You know, I have a whole pile of books here that I need to read this month and we're already like six days in and I haven't even finished one yet, which is really bad for me. It's great for other people. Other people like do really well, like that's that's really good progress for them. But for me, not so much. But this is the other Loki top I was telling you about in last week. I think it was last week's vlog. It might have been the beginning of this week's. I can't remember. What is time? But um. But yeah, so it's my other Loki top. The ones I tried on yesterday all fit. So they'll be washed and then I can wear them. So expect to see them in my vlogs pretty soon as well. Um, yeah, but I just finished watching Bake Off. It was bread week. I had bread and wine. So the wines made me a little bit sleepy, which is why I picked Haunted Mansion tonight. Because it is, I think, one of the shortest films on my list. Because it's only one hour and 29 minutes long. So I am going to watch that and I will check back in with you tomorrow. Hello. So it is very late on Wednesday, the 7th of October. And I just finished The Unbound. <laughs> so at the end, there is a bonus short story, which is from a different character's point of view. And it's literally the moment straight after the end of The Unbound. And the last line of the bonus story, the last line just got me. <laughs> and... This was so good. So my theories were right. Um, 
I'm really proud of myself for that and I really really loved how it all wrapped up it was brilliant and I loved it and I did only give it four stars um I gave the first one four stars as well it's not there's there's something that's just like it's not screaming five stars but I absolutely loved this and <sighs> makes my heart happy how I ended <laughs> That bonus short story was everything I needed, but um, this was the first, the first prompt ticked off for the Royal Readathon villains takeover, and that was Hans, which is a power hungry villain. So seven days into the month, and I've only just finished my first book for my own bleeding readathon. So now I have to pick another one. I don't know what one I'm going to go with next. Okay, I had a little think, and by a little think I meant like 30 seconds, and I've decided I'm going to go with Nightblood next, just because I started this series earlier in the year, and I read the first two books in the space of a couple of months, and knew that I had to try and get this book on a readathon before the end of the year, so... I'm really excited to read this. I have absolutely adored the first two books in this series and was kicking myself that I didn't get to it sooner. So this is the next book I'm going to be reading and I'm very excited but also scared because of how the second book ended. Um, I have not read any of Reprint the Gates today. I am going to catch up on the, that buddy read tomorrow. I don't know if Jazz and Kelly have actually read today's pages, so it could just be that we skip today's, um, but I'll definitely be reading it tomorrow before I start Nightblood, because I know I'm going to get sucked into Nightblood. And I got more book mail, and I'm going to show you this because it's sort of linked to the other one I showed you. So this is the Waterstones edition with the gold edges instead of blue the end papers and wait for it this one is also signed and I really want to reread this now ha ow um, so Jade at JD Ray Reads is now doing a Patreon book club and her October pick is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue I'm very tempted to join in and reread it, but I'm going to be good in the sense that I'm not going to do that until I have made a dent in my actual TBR, because I did only read this in August. <laughs> um, but I do have a review up on my blog for this, which I did post in August because I was a bit premature with posting it because I was just so excited to do it. And what, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair today. Um, but yeah, so that's my only reading updates for today. Today has been a bit hectic, work was super busy and something that has to be done on a Wednesday, we basically have to be sent something so that we can do stuff to it and then send it on to someone else and we never got sent it. So um, it means it's going to be sent tomorrow because I'm really hoping that when I go, when I log on in the morning, it's in my inbox ready for me so that I can get cracking but it is now made my Thursday a hell of a lot busier than it was supposed to be which is not good because I have Friday and Monday off work and I don't really want to leave my colleague with a hell of a lot of stuff so I'm thinking I might log on a little bit earlier tomorrow but we'll see how I feel in the morning because I do actually have a bit of a headache tonight's film on my October movie advent is going to be Shaun of the Dead um, it, I was going to watch Saw, but I didn't really feel like watching an actual, like, gory one. And I really want something comedic. So I, when I was taking some of my DVDs out, because they're in, like, my bed is one of the ones that lifts up and has the storage underneath the mattress. So and my DVDs are under there. So when I was taking out some of the DVDs that I'm going to be watching throughout this month, I saw this and I forgot I had this. So I was like... Okay, that's tonight's film, It's Zombies. It also reminded me that I do actually have Zombieland as well. So I'm going to add that to my list for this month. 
but yeah so I am now going to it is it is 2147 a little bit late to be starting to film when I'm this tired but it's only on for an hour and a half so it's usually my bedtime anyway by the time it finishes so I'm gonna go and watch this I've been wearing my spirit jersey today it just goes to show how cold it has got because we I mean we had the heating on but usually my house gets ridiculously hot with the heating on and I am still in like a vest top but today I kept this on all day and was not overheating so it just goes to show how cold it has got but my Illumicrate also came today so I'm thinking I might try and film my unboxing for that tomorrow and that's literally all the updates I have for you I am going to try and fit in the third Percy Jackson book because I'm buddy reading that with my mum and I think my sister's joining in from book three like this book because she was only a few chapters in and then she went into a slump so she's going to join in with us from now on with the buddy reads and we have also planned to do buddy reads next year. So me, my mum and my sister are going to buddy read the Game of Thrones books. And we're also going to buddy read the Morganville Vampires, which I have read before. But I want to reread them. And they both really love the sound of them. And I think they will really love them. So they're going to read them. I'm actually, for Christmas, I have actually got my sister the last few Morganville books because she needed them. She knows about it, so I'm safe to say it um so yeah and my mum my mum got the whole set so we can all uh all read them so we're going to be doing that from january because i can't do it before january and we also need to buddy read pride and prejudice because it is mine and my sister's or one of one of our favorite classics and my mum has never read it so we're going to be doing that at some point as well and i mean i have enough editions to choose from but yeah, so I'm going to stop babbling now, watch a film and curl up in bed because I'm tired. <laughs> Hello. So it's actually Friday the 9th of October. I didn't catch up with you yesterday. By the time I finished work, I was just felt really drained. And I did actually get some reading done yesterday. And I watched Saw, the first one, which was very good it's actually my favorite now I'm really confused because I thought the one where the two guys are in stuck in the bathroom was the fourth Saw film so I've always said oh Saw 4 is my favorite no Saw 1 is the one where they're stuck in the bathroom so Saw 1 is my favorite um I've only seen the first four I think it is though or five it might be five if there's seven all together, then I've only seen five. But anyway, um, I've just filmed my Illumicrate unboxing. Also, I'm really loving, oh, I never wear this lipstick because it's green and I don't really tend to wear out there colors. Um, I think the only times I've worn this, I think the only times I've worn this color was when I was in Disneyland Paris. Um, the picture actually come up on my time hop this morning which made me think oh I'm gonna wear that today because um, I wore it when I did my like aerial type outfit like I had my Ursula ears green lipstick and then I wore like a flounder top but um, but yeah I'm really enjoying my lipstick today like a lot and I had to do like dark eyeshadow because <laughs> there's no other way but yeah, I do have reading updates. I have been reading A Reaper at the Gates. We are about 160 pages in now. And this author just wants to mess with my heart. Honestly, like, I don't know how much I can take of this. She's going to hurt one of the people I love. And I'm not ready for that to happen because it's obvious it's going to happen. Because I have trust issues with this author. But I think... I think the last time I spoke to you I had just finished The Unbound and I was crying about it. Um, yesterday I started Nightblood by Ellie Blake. 
I only read about, actually I read about 60 pages yesterday in the end. I wasn't planning on reading that much. I thought oh, I'll just read a couple of chapters because I'm tired and then I ended up reading like 60 pages which is like a lot more than a couple of chapters and yeah I'm hooked back on this and I've read a bit more today and I'm currently at page 140. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can get a massive chunk of this read today. I'm not going to get much read this evening because um, my boyfriend is coming over and we'll be watching the next Marvel movie. And also me and my mum are going to be watching Rocky Horror Picture Show today because she has never seen that film. Like I hadn't seen it until about five years ago when my friend made me because it's like one of her favourite films. But we're gonna watch that today and then my boyfriend's coming around so we're gonna um watch the next marvel movie which is which is captain america the winter soldier <laughs> we're about to get assassin bucky <laughs> it's my favorite type of bucky anyway yes loving this i am already sucked back into it and i'm really glad i managed to get this on my tv and i'm hoping that reading this so quickly means I will be out of my kind of slump and last night after sitting there reading this for a while and being engrossed in this enough that I read it until I was too tired to stay awake meant it was the first night in like three weeks where I haven't read fan fiction before I go to bed so maybe this is gonna get me out my slump um, because which is good because I've got this pile you can't see the whole pile but there's a pile here let me lift it so this is everything I need to try and get through this month this is a library book and it doesn't actually have to be returned until um, November because I renewed it and it only gave me an extra week on the renewal but then I checked back again and it had given me till November so that's good but i do have another book from the library that needs to be collected so me and um lauren who i know through like bookstagram and book twitter and everything me and her are gonna buddy read the poppy war but because i don't have it i have reserved it at the library and then obviously if i do enjoy the first book i will probably go and buy the entire trilogy when the third book's out on paperback um so yeah that's got to be collected and i'll be buddy reading that so that's probably going to be this month as well so add the poppy war which is a beast of a book but yeah so that is my pile this one i can do the audiobook along with reading which i'm going to need to do because the writing is tiny as hell and my eyes are not good enough to be able to concentrate on this if i don't have it here as well so there's that and then this is a review copy which it came out yesterday and i completely forgot my brain has been frazzled this week and i completely forgot and i'm really sad i didn't get to tweet about it yesterday on release day but i need to read this i'm hoping to read this very soon so that i can post a review because it's out now I hate when I don't get to do it before, especially with physical arcs as well. Like it's not so bad with net galley arcs, but if an actual author has sent me a book, I feel really bad if I don't get to it before release. And I'm a terrible person and I apologize. Um, but yeah, so the rest of it is all for the Royal Wreath on Villains Takeover. But yeah, I, this was still on the pile because I never got around to it last month but I'm going to see if I can fit this in for next month because next month I am taking part in Believeathon, which is hosted by Gavin at How to Train Your Gavin. I couldn't resist buying the compendium off of Amazon and I'm really excited to plan my TBR. I think I might do that this weekend. I'm, I'm off work today and I'm off work on Monday as well. And I am hoping to get quite a lot of reading done and make the most of it. But so far, and I mean, to, to be fair, I have read today. I've read like 80 pages today already. Oh wow, I've read 80 pages today. 
okay that's a good start um but yeah yeah i want to try and get a bit of reading in now before i have to go and do other stuff but yeah i'm gonna stop babbling because i've been talking for eight minutes i will maybe catch up with you later if not i will catch up with you tomorrow <laughs> So it is Saturday the 10th of October and it is very late. I am about to go to bed but I did think I would give you a little update. So I did finish Night Blood today and I have no words. It was such a good ending. And I loved it. It wrapped up the series so well. And I think this has just made one of my favourite series lists. Um, it was so good and I highly recommend it. It is a very, very, very good series. And I can't believe it took me this long to get to it. Because I've had the first two books for at least two years. Possibly even three. But I finally read them all and loved them. And and this was my Shan Yu pick for the Royal Readathon Villains Takeover because it is a book with an invasion and I was very right in thinking that there was an invasion of, a, of some kind. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. That is my second book crossed off, which is really bad for the 10th because I have a whole pile of books. But do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. Um, tonight's um, films were we watched Star Wars Episode 5 which how have I never realised how much I love Han Solo before like I love him and I'm really enjoying the Star Wars films there you go I've said it <laughs> and then we watched Casper for my October movies I have not watched Casper since I was about, I want to say like 14, 15. So it's been over a decade. Oh my God, when you say it like that. Oh, but yeah, I absolutely love that film and it was so good. Oh, I'm not sure which book I'm going to go for next. I'm thinking I might go for The Fascinators next. Um, I'm just feeling it, but we'll see. We'll see. But I am going to wrap this vlog up now because it is Saturday night. I have got to get up fairly early tomorrow because I need to do some bits before me and Liv do our Instagram live because we are trying to do them every Sunday. We didn't do one last Sunday because we did one on the 1st of October, but we're going to try and do one for every Sunday left of October. Um, so we're doing that at 11 and then I'm going to try and read a bit once I've edited this and I also have to edit my Aluma Crate unboxing as well but apart from that it's all done and I have been planning my Believe-a-thon TBR I haven't solidified my TBR yet I might still switcheroo with a couple but I have a basic one so I'm happy with that but for now I am gonna wrap this up I hope you like this week's vlog I hope it was a bit better reading wise it was better than the past few weeks I finished three books yeah I finished three books and I'm like halfway for another so that's good that's good um but yeah um, so if you did like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye!